Hi, I'm Gina Ventola, Practice Manager for Ventola Law. One of the best parts of my job is meeting with business owners. However, at times, it can be difficult to meet in person. That's why I started this show, to introduce you to local business owners in our community. Join me on your virtual coffee, a new kind of networking. everybody. Welcome to Your Virtual Coffee, a web show that introduces you to great local businesses in the Denver metro area. Today, my guest is Rod Heinley. He is a senior agent with U.S. Health Advisors. After serving his country in the Navy, he now focuses on serving the health insurance needs of small businesses, the self-employed, entrepreneurs, families, and individuals alike. Rod, Welcome to your virtual coffee. Thanks, Gina. It's great to be here. As always, great to talk to you. So let's talk about you, Ron. Okay. Where did you grow up? I am a native of Denver, Colorado. Uh, I was born and raised here. Um, went to, gosh, I lived in Longmont. I grew up mainly in Parker, though. That's where I did most of my, my educational years. Did high school, went to Ponderosa High School, graduated from there. And uh, so I'm just a local boy. Wow, so you haven't really left home. Oh, no. I When I joined the Navy, I was in San Diego for about 20 years. So, yeah, I've been all over the world. But, yeah, I lived out in San Diego for quite a while. So while you were in the Navy, what places were you stationed since you said you were all over the world? Well, I was, I was fortunate enough to my whole, for my whole time to be uh, stationed out of San Diego, California, but I did two West packs while I was in. So I've hit a ton of different countries a few times. So it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. You look back on it at the time, you hated it, but looking back, it was a lot of fun. Well, tell me about your family. So uh, all my family, they've actually all just lived in Denver. I'm the only one that ever left. Um, I've got, uh, gosh, there's seven kids in my family. Um, my mom is a saint. My dad recently passed away, but uh, I can't believe my mom. I, I, I apologize to my mom all the time for all the things that I did as a kid. Now that you're old enough and have your own kids and they're doing their own stupid stuff, you're like, wow, I did a lot of stupid stuff, so. But, uh, so when you were going to Ponderosa High, yep. what was your favorite subject? Uh, my favorite subject was actually history. I, I, I like some history. Um, it's just, I like to, it, it's just weird how history does repeat itself, right? You've seen it throughout all the history getting up to where we are. Now you're kind of seeing our past come, you know, to fruition now. Just now, the is lessons there a, we don't learn. Is, I'm sorry, is there a time period that you like to read about or learn about more than others? Um, I like all history when I was younger. It was, you know, the revolution, uh, the, the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, that kind of timeline there. Um, but later, as I got into high school, it was more about the Vietnam War and all the different wars. I think that was me making up my mind, whether I knew it or not, to join the military. Um, and then I, you know, just went from there. And that was my plan out of high school is to join the military. So your plan after um, the military, you got into working with health insurance. Is that correct? Yeah, I, I had several different careers to get me to here. Um, but now I am, uh, I, I do represent United Health. Uh, excuse me, we're a United Health Group company. Uh, U.S. Health Advisors, we're a United Health Group company. We merged with United Health Group uh, really recently here. And uh, I, I really got into it when my mom was, gosh, about my age and had a stroke. Um, this is when I really decided that that's what I wanted to do. They, uh, she, she had a stroke and we lived far out in the country. I lived way out, I, way east of Parker. And uh, she had a stroke, had to be flight for life to the hospital. And my parents had health insurance while we were growing up, but they didn't, until they really needed it, they didn't find out that they had bought apples thinking that they bought oranges. 
Um, so my mom had a minor stroke. She was in the hospital. They said, oh, it's just gonna be a couple of days. Well, unfortunately, those couple of days, her blood went sepsis. So her, her blood was infected. Wow. So that caused a heart attack. Now with the heart attack and all of that, now she was in the hospital for a total of 21, 22 days, something like that. Everything just got way, way worse. And the bill after she got out of the hospital, having this stroke and she's limited with what she can move and things like that, the bill came out to just over $2.4 million. So the insurance company covered all but about 250000 um, and this is when my parents thought they were, my, my littlest brother was about to get out of high school. Uh, they're about to live their life and have fun and all that. Um, and now they're stuck with this bill and they were able to negotiate with the hospital, brought the bill down to about a hundred thousand dollars. But that was the beginning of the end because it was just such a huge number to overcome. They ended up losing the house. It was, it was, a, it was a huge ranch. Um, it was their dream. Uh, they lost that. And that was really where, I realized that they, people say whatever they want to say to get you to spend money. And I knew in my heart that I could help people to win. This was really their, it's your worst day when something happens and you don't want to be thinking about, did I buy the right stuff? Is this really going to do what they said it's going to do? You don't want to worry about that. So I look at it from an integrity point on myself. That's what I give regardless of whether I can sell something to you or not. My goal is to always review what you have. So at least you understand what you do or don't have. So on that one day you need it, you're not surprised by whether you're covered or not. Wow. Well, that's probably the kind of stuff that gets you out of bed every day. Yeah, it really does. Especially now, you know, with what's going on in the, the current environment, it's just, it matters more than ever, you know, um, who knows how it's all going to play out. I know that's true. Now, can we take a step back for a minute? Yep. Now, you're an agent, correct? Correct. What is the difference between an insurance agent and an insurance broker? So there's really three things that are associated with us. One is a telemarketer. That's most of the billions of calls that you get. Um, inside those telemarketers are brokers. Brokers are usually uh, state agents. Uh, they, they may have licenses, but they're not going to have access to all of the different plans um, that are available that may or may not help you. They're going to push whatever's putting money in their pocket right? Versus what's best for you. I talk to a ton of people that I'm ne not necessarily the best option for. So I'm going to refer you to the right way. My, my, I just want to guide you because it's, you know, health insurance is a confusing at best confusing decision to make, right? And everybody wants to make the right decision, right? Nobody wants to find out on their worst day that, oh, this whole time I thought I had this, but I don't. So that's my goal, right? Whether we're reviewing it and, and nine times out of 10, if you find something that I am not recommending and it's the best, I'm going to tell you it's the best because it just doesn't do either one of us any good because I'm, I, I do this as a career 24 seven, 365. Um, you know, I, I, if I can't help you today, maybe you can refer me to someone that I can help tomorrow. Well, I think it's remarkable as you just said, how you help people, even though it going with you is not the right path for them, you will refer them to the right way to go. Absolutely. That's the, that's the integrity part that I hold as Rod Heimlich. You know, not everybody has that same thing inside them. Um, would I love to sell something to somebody every single time? Yeah, absolutely. That's, that would help my pocketbook. But it's not about my pocketbook. It's about your pocketbook. And at the end of the day, what do I have to spend out of my pocket? And if I can limit that, then I, I feel good that I did my job. So, for example, that person that you had to kind of have that uncomfortable conversation with. Right. Right. Um, what would be a barrier? What would be something where um, going with you or going that to where something else might be a better fit? 
Health insurance really comes down to a couple of factors. Um, your overall income, right? There are government supplemental programs that really do help. They've got some good, good packages out there, especially when you look at things as it's all about what happens in the end. It's, you know, we, we don't buy insurance for the doctor visits, right? Nor do we buy car insurance to go fill up the gas, right? You're buying car insurance for that one day you have an accident that you'll be covered. Same thing with health insurance. That's where it matters. So with a, uh, I forgot what we were going. Sorry about that. Well, we were talking about barriers um, for people getting insurance. Oh yeah, the, the other thing is their health. So pre-existing conditions are a big thing in the insurance world, right? You're, you either have them or you don't, and insurance comes down to risk assessment. And a lot of the plans that sound the cheapest from a monthly standpoint um, may just be covering what's called a limited benefit. So they're only paying a little bit up front, right? They'll take, a lot of those plans take people that have those pre-existing conditions, all the things that Obamacare covers for whether you're healthy or not healthy, right? When you're not healthy, Obamacare really is the best plan because it has that maximum amount of pocket. That's all about when my bill is $100,000, how much do I have to pay? How much does insurance have to pay? And the risk is just, it's either you take on the risk or the lion's share of the bill or the insurance company takes on the risk and the lion's share of the bill. So the healthier you are, the easier it is to shift the risk to the insurance company, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's what I try to do is just find out what your situation is. What is it that you, what have you used your insurance for in the last few years, right? What is it that matters most to you? Let's get you into a plan where you're paying for things you want and need, not paying for things you're, you're never going to use or need. So that's why every situation is different. So what makes U.S. health advisors special or different from other health insurance facilitators, for lack of a better word? That is an easy one. It's the care. Um, when, when you deal with, with me through U.S. health advisors, they allow me to be your personal agent. So I'm your guy, right? I'm going to remember all the little nuances to the plans, all the benefits. You may just hear the broad strokes, but I'm going to know the fine lines and be able to advise you as you go forward. So instead of always having an 800 number, which of course you have if that's what you want, but you have my personal cell phone as well. So you can call me, hey, Rod, I need to do this. Hey, Rod, I need to do that. And I'm going to say, hey, remember to ask your doctor about this. Remember that. Remember this other thing. Because all those things are going to save you money when it comes to bill time, right? So that's, that's what I provide. Versus most of these other companies, you're just an 800 number. So you are just number 42716 to, on somebody's desk today, right? So I, I, they, they allow me to offer that personalized service. So I, I really, I, I take that to heart and I, I really, you know, if you call me at 11 o'clock at night, uh, I'm going to call you back. I think that's outstanding. Not that I would call you at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> I appreciate that. Or do I that. recommend any of our <laughs> viewers do that? But just knowing that someone could do that. I mean, I think that is amazing. Yeah, it's, it, it makes me feel that's the part I like the most because you, you, you bought the plan. Now let me show you why. You know, so I take that very seriously. I look up doctors. I remind people of things like there's so much you don't know. And, and you know, oh, my, my kid bonked his head and he's bleeding. I'm on the way to the emergency room, right? Let's find something in network. Let's, you know, make sure all the little silly things that you don't think about because it's an emergency right now, right? That's where, you know, it help, I can help you, you know, guide you the right direction. Rod, I would like to pivot to Power Partners. And for our audience, Power Partners are people, other businesses that target your same client, but are not your competition. A great example would be a real estate agent and a mortgage broker, for example. Exactly. Those two target the same customer, us, but they're not, they don't compete with each other. 
Correct. So with that being said, who is your ideal client, Rod? Um, there's a lot of them. It's just the ideal client, honest to God, is anybody that is paying for their own health insurance out of their own par pocket. So whether they're healthy, they're not healthy, that part doesn't matter. But those are my ideal clients. Um, now from power partners, gosh, real estate, um, tax people, uh, you know, life insurance agents, so many um, it, every business you could think of um, if you're not if your employer is not offering you coverage then you're my ideal client well that's a good way to put it i like that if you're paying for your own insurance that's who your client is because that kind of opens the door we kind of talked about this a little bit in your introduction that could be small business owners that could be people who are self-employed entrepreneurs or even families and individuals who, like you said, you know, they may be 1099 people, yep. things like that. People who, you know, their employer does not take care of that. Um, and so along those lines, those people, so who else serves those people? Well, with the exception of families and individuals, I would look at like those PEOs, those HR companies, because yep. All um, of those. if they don't have an HR person, they probably don't have benefits or significant benefits. And that's what right. those companies provide, including health insurance, which you can work with those companies to create the right package for that exactly. employer. Um, I'm thinking staffing services. Um, I have Anyone. a friend who works you know, who owns, co-owns with her spouse, um, a staffing service. And so they're in contact with those business owners that may or may not have benefits, including health insurance. Right. And one of the advantages of, of the products that I work with are that they go with you from job to job. So they're not just job specific you know, as well as cover you for on or off the job, where is the, that, that's the actual line with most health insurance and workman's compensation, right? So if you get hurt on the job, your Obamacare plan or your group coverage plan isn't going to cover you for that. They're going to push that off on workman's comp. So then that kind of pushes it there. But with some of these plans that are out there, they actually cover you 24 seven on and off the job. Right. And then it just doesn't matter where you get hurt. You know, the ability to pick any doctor, any hospital, anywhere in the country. Right. It doesn't sound like a lot until you're sick. Right. When you're sick, I don't know about you, but I would want the best. Whatever that is, whatever body part is ailing me, I would want the best to be treated. There's plans out there that allow you to go get that. Right. Some of the some of the Obamacare style plans, you're restricted to just what doctors are inside your network. Right. There's plans where it doesn't matter what your network is. Even if you find a doctor that's outside of the network, the plan's still going to pay for that. So there's just different there's different things. And that's why I get to know you and I ask you all the questions that I do and I really find out what it is you're really looking for. Right. Do you have children? Well, the reality is that accidents make up over 97% of all claims for health coverage. So if you think about, think back about your life, you were probably injured way more than you were sick. I wanted to be a stunt man when I was a kid. I had five older brothers and they got me to do a lot of stupid stuff. You know, I look back now and I'm like, oh, and I've got my own kid. And when he does stupid stuff, it's hard because I can't even get mad at him. Because I'm like, oh, yeah, you got that from me. Uh, so I just got lucky that you didn't do all the stupid things I did. Well, I've got you there because I have nine older siblings, and yeah, I did a lot of stupid stuff. Too. They can talk you into a lot of stuff when you're little, that's for sure. Yeah, you can jump off that house. It won't be a big, big deal at all. So jumping off the house aside and other <laughs> right? bad childhood memories. Um, Rod, you've given us a lot of information to think about. How is the best way for people to reach you and business owners reach you if you have questions? 
or they um, have I, I am on Facebook. You can reach me. My, my regular page is Rod Heimlich. I am Rod the Health Coverage Guy. Um, real easy to, to remember. Um, that's one of the easiest ways you can set up an appointment with me. Um, but I'm really responsive. And uh, gosh, you can have my personal phone number, you know, email. I'm, I'm out there. I'm contactable. And I, I respond very effectively. Well, that is awesome. And thank you so much for coming on my show. Viewers, I will have a slide at the end with Rod's contact information. So if you want to go and ask him questions, you can watch this till the end and see all that great stuff. Um, Rod, thanks again for coming on my show. Thanks for having me, Gina. It was excellent as always. And you guys have a great day. And thanks for watching. Thanks. Have a good day. Your virtual coffee is sponsored by Ventola Law. Ventola Law, mediation and legal representation at an expert level. You can find them at VentolaLaw.com. Thanks for joining me today. For more information on your virtual coffee, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and wait for it, our website at YourVirtualCoffee.com. Thanks again for watching and have an incredible day.